Hello guys and welcome to my simple witch succession guide. I've been recently asked if I would put together a small video to help people understand the basic su succession, so I decided, you know, why not? So I myself uh, rerolled witch around one month ago now. I've been having a lot of fun with succession, it's pretty enjoyable, you know, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun, it's pretty nice. And even if you're new to witch, or if you're new to BDO, you might not fully understand what succession is. So I decided to put this little guide together for you. But it essentially is a empowered pre-awakening kit with a few additions from the awakening. However, once you go to succession, you, you give up your awakening abilities and you have your empowered pre-awakening abilities. I won't go into too much detail today, we'll just cover the basics of the succession, general information, abilities, rotation, add-ons, and keynotes. So let's get started, shall we? So the witch class is a female support class, it's the counterpart to the wizard. The witch relies on her super armors and large AoEs to defeat her enemies, however, bear in mind that witch succession is a very, very different playstyle to witch awakening. The succession itself has a much higher APM. So you're essentially trying to do as much damage as possible. It is a very, like I said before, it's a very different playstyle to Awakening. Let's say it's a more mobile playstyle. Let's get into the class now. Succession Witch has five passives. Four of them are buffs, and one of them is the upgraded version of Sage's Memory. So we have Burning Pulse, we have Freezing Gaze, we have Luminous Touch, and we have Magnificent Steps. The prime version of Sage's Memory is Elemental Flow. Now, Elemental Flow is a two-part passive. One of the parts affects Magical Evasion, and the other part affects MMA, which is Multiple Magic Arrows. So, let's go into the Magical Evasion passive. When you cast Magical Evasion, your next spell cast in succession will be instant. This pretty much allows you to dance around monsters in PvE. So, if you are jumping between pack and pack, or even if you're jumping in the same pack, you can insta-cast spells while dancing around the mobs using Magical Evasion PvE iframe, which will allow you to keep yourself alive as well as doing instant damage. If you compare this to Awakening, you'll see that you're a very tower-like class in Awakening, and Succession mixes it up a little bit. So, along with the Magical Evasion passive, like I said, there is an MMA passive. So, this allows a Witch, after they cast a spell, to then cast the extra hit of MMA. So, as you can see, you can rotate skill after skill after skill and cast MMA at the end of each skill to maximize damage. This is incredibly handy when you're trying to kill monsters. It's a large amount of burst damage and you can utilize it after each spell cast. Let's quickly cover the skills. As I personally main PvE on my Witch, I'll mainly cover PvE. In the future, maybe we'll look at more of the PvP element side to the game. But at the moment, I just want to keep it simple and keep on PvE. So I'll cover the spells I use while I grind, along with the add-ons that I feel are most suited to my playstyle, and that revolve more around my combo. So I recorded a little bit of my grinding to show you guys and to go through my PvE rotation. So the PvE rotation starts with Lightning Chain to pull. Use Lighthouse to then pull the mobs together to gain aggro onto them. You then use Earthquake, which will then allow me to proc my add-ons, followed by Voltaic for the add-ons, for the evasion debuff and cast speed, then obviously into the MMA due to the passive, into Fireball for the cast speed add-on and monster damage, followed up by Fireball Explosion, MMA, Rebarm Lightning, you can also use Prime Lightning instead, Residue Lightning, Lightning Combo, MMA again afterwards to maintain that damage, Rigid Fog, for the large amounts of AoE, MMA afterwards, again for the damage, Fireball, MMA, Freeze, MMA, and then a full cast of MMA. And usually after you've completed that rotation, the pack is usually dead. I go through a few different rotations and a few different combinations of skills in different uh, areas. So for example, I have a different combo based on Histria, Rituga, Star's End, etc, etc. We won't go into that today. We'll cover that in a different video. So now I can take a look at the add-ons I use. So the add-ons I currently use are Earthquake, Fireball, Lightning Storm, Freeze, MMA, and Voltaic. These are the add-ons I like to use the most in PvE because it allows me to maintain the large amount of monster damage, cast speed, and defensive stats while also maintaining a decent amount of crit as well. There are different variations of add-ons for Succession Witch. I feel like these suit me. You can look into changing some of these add-ons. This is a pure PvE build. 
Some of these add-ons can be amended for PvP and PvP hybrid builds. Here's some uh, keynotes to remember while you're playing Succession. So, which Succession does not have a back block, as in a active back block, whereas the Awakening one does? She does not have the ability Paralysis, which is a very strong slow that you can apply to people. She does not gain the resistances from self buffs from blocks. She does not have a pet, and she does not have a C spell. There are other things as well that are missing, or you do not currently have as a Succession Witch versus an Awakening Witch, but essentially they're the really key important parts. However, just because she doesn't have any of the mentioned, that doesn't mean that she's not viable or enjoyable. Which Succession is very strong in PvE, and it can be used in PvP. However, people like to refer more to the Awakening due to the Bat Block, Pet, and Paralysis. And that's pretty much it. That's my um, first video on Witch Succession. I, if you guys like it, I might consider doing more in the future. But I just wanted to do a simple little rundown of the skills, the abilities, and it's general information for people who are looking forward to playing with Succession or are very curious about the class. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact myself by Discord or by checking out my Twitch at twitch.tv slash So as always, take care dudes, and I'll see you next time.